All right, I gotta be honest with you about something here. A couple of months ago, I got some new fish for this tank behind me. And ever since then, I have been completely obsessed. These fish are big, they're super cute, and they're unique because they're like a combination of an alligator and a dinosaur. <laughs> and I cannot wait to tell you everything that I know about these fish today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the Polypterus, better known as the biker fish. So let's talk about one of the coolest fish in the aquarium hobby, the biker. Now, you might have heard their name pronounced Bicher, Bashir, or even Bisher, but to me, the coolest way to say it is biker, because, well, bikers are cool. Anyway, if you haven't watched the show Sons of Anarchy, I don't know that you and I could be friends, but <laughs> one of the great things about the biker community, and no, I'm not talking about Sam Crow, the Hells Angels, or Pagans, no, I'm talking about the biker fish community. One of the best things about them is that people don't get all caught up in how you say the name, unlike other communities we're a part of. Anyway, no matter how you pronounce it, this fish is an absolute showstopper. They defy everything you know about this hobby. Most of us keep fish because they're pretty and dainty. Well, not these guys. They look straight up like little monsters ready to devour everything in sight. And well, they'll do exactly that if you're not careful. Now, let me clarify. These aren't mean fish by any stretch, but they're absolutely the type of fish that'll eat anything they can fit in their mouth. So if you put them in a tank with small fish, don't label them as mean if those small fish start disappearing. Actually, if you put small fish in with these guys, you're basically sending them to their death. So you're the mean one, not the fish. The point is, bikers fit into every category out there as far as their diet. If they can fit it in their mouth, they'll eat it. Yes, even fish. But they're not in the slightest bit aggressive. In fact, I've caught mine playing around with the Oscars and Severums I have them with. Now the two bikers you're looking at in this video are my personal fish that Lisa bought me as a gift a while back. I saw them in my buddy Rama's shop, Schools of Fish, down in Richmond, Virginia, and I told her, you know, those would look really good in my 360 gallon. Well, the next time she was down there, she decided to surprise me by picking them up. What can I say? I'm a lucky guy. There's a reason why I married that woman. These are actually two different types of bikers. This one is the Polypterus and Lycari, and this one here is the Lepredi. They look very different, but as you can see, they're about the same size and the care and housing of them is identical. These aren't the only types of bikers out there. There's actually a bunch of different types with the most common being the Senegal, which stays much smaller and doesn't need as big a tank. And the ornate biker, which from what I've gathered is the largest of all of them. I don't know this from experience, but it's what I've been told. I kept the Senegals a long time ago and they were awesome. And of course now I've got the Enlicari and the Lepredi. If you're questioning which one is best for you, the first thing you need to look at is the size of your tank. Don't be one of those people with a smaller tank that says, I've heard the bikers grow slow, so I'll put them in here for now and get a bigger tank later. We all know things can get in the way and delay you getting that bigger tank. But if you're in that situation, just stick with the Senegals. They're an awesome fish and they only max out at about 14 inches. That's still a big fish, but at least they don't need to be in a tank the size of a small house. 
I'd still like to see you put them at at least 125 gallons, though. When it comes to keeping these little dinosaurs, there's a few things to keep in mind, but the most critical thing is tank size. These are fish that have been known to get up to 30 inches in size when we're talking about the Lepredi, the Enlicari, the Ornate, maybe not the Senecals, but they're also extremely active. So keeping them in a four or even a six foot tank just isn't gonna cut it. They need room to swim from side to side, front and back, and up and down. This brings me to the next thing you need to know about these fish. They can breathe in the water, obviously, but what you may not know is they can also breathe air. This is why it's important to have room for them to swim up and down because you'll see them randomly go to the top and take a big old gulp of air. It's, it's actually really cute. This tank that I have my two bikers in, along with three Oscars, two Severums, and two Plecos, is eight feet long, three feet front to back, and two feet tall. It checks every box for these guys to absolutely thrive. One of my favorite things about these fish is they're practically indestructible and can tolerate pretty much any water parameters. If your pH is between six and eight, which almost everyone's is, and your temperature is between 72 and 82, which again, almost everyone's is, these guys are gonna do just fine for you. One of the big challenges though, is they eat a lot and poop a lot. I thought my Oscars were bad, but they don't shake a stick at these fellas. It's almost like brown spaghetti all over the bottom of the tank or a bunch of Tootsie Rolls. I mean, ugh, it's, it's bad. So a lot of space, a lot of food, and clean water is the key. If you can do that, you can keep bikers. If you decide you want to keep these gentle giants, you're most likely going to want to have some other fish with them. I mean, these things are a spectacle on their own, but you still want to have a little more action in the tank. So what fish are going to be suitable to house with bikers? Well, there's a few things to think about. First is what we talked about earlier. Even though these fish aren't really aggressive towards other fish, you still have to be aware that they'll jump on any opportunity to eat a fish small enough. It's not that they're trying to assert dominance or anything, it's just their natural instinct. So you'll want to stay away from smaller fish like most of your community fish, tetras, barbs, corridoras, that kind of stuff. Cichlids are fine as long as they're not super aggressive like flower horns, dovi, or mida cichlids. I mean, there's a reason you always see these fish alone in aquariums. They just don't mix well with others. But larger cichlids like Oscars and Severums like I have in mind should be, and I want to stress should, be fine. When I got my two bikers, I told one of my friends about them and how excited I was to do something new. And instead of being excited for me and wishing me the best, his first response was, I hope your Oscars don't kill him. I gotta be honest, I'm a pretty sensitive guy and this really hurt my feelings, but you know what? He was right. I've had my Oscars since they were babies and they've definitely caused their share of trouble. But as you can see in this footage, they're perfectly fine with these bikers. You really don't need to worry about bikers bothering other fish in the tank. The focus needs to be on whether or not the other fish will hurt the bikers. I know I took a bit of a risk putting them in with my Oscars, but it's all working out. Now to the fun part, feeding these alligator dinosaur lizard fish. I gotta be honest, I've never been more entertained watching fish eat than with these guys. They are silly little goofballs that play with their food and push it all around all over the place before they finally eat it. It is super cute, but it can also be kind of frustrating because they're in the tank with three hogs that'll steal food right from them. There's a reason why most of the footage you see in this video is those two fish eating. I swear I could watch these fish eat all day. What I do is feed the Oscars and Severums first and when their bellies are full, then I drop in food for the bikers. 
They'll come to the top to eat floating food, but I like feeding them sinking pellets like the Massivore from Hikari, chopped up pieces of tilapia or shrimp, and then just watch them. Sometimes they'll go after the food aggressively, but more often than not, they'll just push it around and play with it for a while, and then they'll finally suck it in. It's adorable. This leads to one of the only issues I have with these fish, and it's definitely something you need to be aware of. With them hunting their food on the bottom of the tank, they have a tendency to stir up the crumbs of food left over from the Oscars, and even their poop if I haven't gotten it out of the tank. And like I said earlier, their poops are like Tootsie Rolls, so it gets pretty messy around feeding time. So to sum things up, bikers, bashirs, bishers, bishars, or however you want to say it, are some of the most fascinating fish in the hobby. They get really big, so you'll need to have a huge tank unless you're keeping the smaller varieties like Senegal's. They'll eat anything in sight, but will easily take pellets, tilapia or shrimp. Just make sure the food makes its way down to the bottom and they're huge slobs. So you'll be doing a lot of cleaning and water changes. But if all that doesn't scare the Tootsie Roll sized crap out of you, these fish will be a huge level up. They have become my absolute pride and joy and are quickly becoming my favorite fish. I really hope this video has given you the information you need to make the decision if you want to get some or not. And if you decide you don't want one, well, you can always just come back and watch this video over and over and over again and just live vicariously through mine. Anyway, this has been so much fun introducing you to my new favorite fish. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.